In this video, what we're going to learn how to do is write a line following program such that the robot will follow the line until it detects an obstacle in its path. This is useful for an event like a robot parade where you may have multiple robots following the same line, but you want one to stop if the robots in front of it stop as well. To demonstrate how this program works, we're going to run the robot around the track. So we can see here the robot can follow a line by itself. And if we have multiple robots running on the same track, they will continue running until we take some kind of obstacle and put it in their path. As soon as it detects the obstacle, it stops. Another robot may come along behind this first robot and it too will stop when it detects the other robot. As soon as the original obstacle is moved, the robots will resume their course. Okay, so in this part of the video, what we're going to do is actually write the program that will make the robot travel around the line and stop if it sees an obstacle. So open up your LEGO Mindstorms programming environment and just name your program, press go, start a new program. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pull off a loop because we want to follow our line indefinitely. We want to just keep following it until the parade ends or until you are, you know, whatever you're doing going around the track ends. So now what we're going to do is put an inner loop inside of this. This inside, the innermost loop, what we're going to use for is to actually follow the line. So this inside loop is like we're following the line and we want to stop following the line if we see someone coming. So we, or if we see an obstacle on our path or something. So we go to sensor and set this to ultrasonic sensor and say we're going to stop if we see something less than 12 inches away. So this means that we will keep following the line. If we see something closer than a foot away, we're going to stop. Then we actually need to tell the robot to stop. So we pull off a move block and set it to stop or to break. And this will prevent the robot from just, you know, keeping on driving or whatever after we see an obstacle. But we just don't want to stop and then you know, we're inside this loop, so we stop, we see an obstacle, and then we go back to the beginning and start following a line again. We don't want to do that. Instead, we want to actually wait until the obstacle that we see goes away. So we pull off a wait block with a wait for ultrasonic sensor, and we want to wait until this is further away than 15 inches. So that means that the, whatever the obstacle was that we saw that was a foot away, we want to wait until it gets at least 15 inches away before we start moving again. This gives us a little bit of buffer. Okay, so now this is the general layout of our program. Follow the line, stop when you see something, wait until it goes away, start following the line again. So now we actually got to get this line follower to work. So inside this inner loop, we're going to put a switch block. The line follower that we're going to use here will turn one way if it's over a dark color and then the other way if it's over a light color and by just going back and forth back and forth back and forth it will eventually follow this line it goes a little bit slower than some of the more advanced programs but it works and it's the simplest one to write so we come down here and we're going to set the switch to use the light sensor and it doesn't matter which way this is if it's waiting for less than 50 or greater than 50 so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull off a couple move blocks and put them in the top of the um, switch and we're going to put some in the bottom of the switch. So what we're going to do here is use these two move blocks to turn the robot. I realize you can use the slider on a move block to turn the robot, but I like using two separate move blocks because it gives me a bit more control. So I'm going to set this first motor to B. And we're going to set all these motors to unlimited duration. Come down here, C, unlimited. And I'm going to switch which motor. So it's going to go B, C on top, and now it's going to be C, unlimited. And then B, unlimited, on the bottom. OK, so now that I've selected unlimited. Now, what we want is on the top, we want B to go a little bit slower and C to go a little bit faster because if our two motors are going different speeds, that means the robot will turn. 
So we're going to set B to something really slow, like 15% power. 15% power. And C, we're also going to set to something slow, but a little bit faster still, so 35% power. Line followers tend to work best with slow power levels, uh, but you can play around with this on like a piece of electrical tape or something like that that you have at home to see just what settings work best. So you come over here to this bottom part of the switch, and we're going to set C to 15% and B to 35%. So basically the top and the bottom are like opposites of each other. And there you have it. This is the program that I was running at the beginning of the video when I showed you the robots driving around the track. So what happens is we come in, we follow the line using this by turning one way if we are over light, the other way if we're over dark. When we see something we stop, we wait until it goes away, and then we go back to the beginning and start all over. If you have a question, leave a comment in this comment section below. Thanks.